Jared Casey, the 1146 Carlton player in history. How does it feel, mate, getting that first one under the belt? Um, I think oh, it's exciting. Like it's, I've been uh, waiting a long time for this, so it was good to get out there and uh, you know, hopefully I made an impact. To sort of sitting on the bench for three quarters, you get a bit tired watching the game, but no, it was great to finally get one out, get one out of the way. I think what you've done is taught a lot of young footballers of the value of persistence. You know, you've done the hard way. You were initially drafted as a rookie, delisted, ended up at Norwood, had a great year at Norwood, and here you are redrafted again, finding yourself on the MCG. Yeah, it's as I said, like it's just taken a long time, and you know, sometimes I never thought it would happen. You know. I'd, I was comfortable in South Australia after having such a good year, and, but to get another opportunity, um, yeah, I'm really excited about and, and looking forward to. When you were delisted, did you feel that that was it, or did you always believe that somewhere, someday, you would play AFL footy? No, I always quietly had the belief, sort of within myself. It was, it was more so. I was only I was only 20 at the time, so I was still fairly young. It was more so where to to go to get another second crack and. Thankfully, Nord was, was the place, so it was good. And the Blues, to their credit, always kept in touch with you? Yeah, I kept in touch with Shane Rogers most of the year. We were, we were good friends off the field as well, um, away from footy, so yeah, he sort of kept an eye on me, and yeah, thankfully it all worked out. You wear a famous number on your back, of course, the number 37 of Wayne Harms, yeah. first Norm Smith medalist and Carlton player. Um, have you heard from Wayne at all? Have you met him before? No, I've never, I've never met Wayne. I've um, seen him on. I've seen the famous highlight from the grand final. My stepdad's a Collingwood supporter, so he hates Wayne Harms. But um, there they go. The tape comes flying. But yeah, no, um, you know, it's it's pretty exciting. You see a name like that on your locker every day, and hopefully, I can, you know, have some sort of impact in my time. Well, we hope that you do get your name on the locker someday, Jared. Well done on getting through game number one. May there be many more and, and rest up for, uh, for next week. Thanks, mate. Cheers.